and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Emily. I'm the founder, creator, and maker behind everything you see here at EV Knits. I am on this channel to share my personal garments and personal projects and connect with other makers, as well as show you behind the scenes on my home decor and accessories that I offer in my EV Knits shop. You can find it at evknits.org, which has the widest selection, but I'm also on Etsy at EV Knits by Emily is the name of the shop. So today I wanted to talk with you. Today is July 31st, 2020. Um, and I wanted to talk to you about this sweater that I made, this garment. Short sleeve, so I don't know if you call it a sweater or if you just call it a short sleeve sweater. This is the Pangolosian sweater, excuse me if I'm saying it wrong, by More Thunder. I did this as part of her knit along in June. It was a mystery knit along, so it was really fun. It was like a clue every weekend. So it is knit top down and it is obviously color work. You can just use, she, she in her sample had just two colors. So um, all the all my different colors for her were just one color, which I would love to try. And then I just chose, I've been really invested in using up my stash and not purchasing personal yarn too much. So I did just that. The pattern calls for DK weight yarn. This is another example of where I modified. I had a whole bunch of worsted weight yarn and I said, let me use that for this. I have said this before, so just showing you that I never learn, but I thought, oh, I'll just use, um, I'll just make the very smallest size and it'll be fine. I did that, I started to do that, and it was just not working at all. The gauge was totally off. It like looked like a cowl basically because there was so much knitting over here before you got bigger for the shoulders, et cetera, et cetera. It was just not flattering. So for this um, sweater, which is why it might look a little funky, I follow the chart for the color work and her basic template, but I kind of just went rogue and just kept cast on what I thought would work and kept increasing and trying it on Oh my gosh all the time i just tried 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 on tried on tried on and um figured out where it fit me and my measurements so could i replicate this exactly probably not because i did not run anything down and it was just a bunch of trial and error literally but i think it turned out in the end and paid off it is a bunch of different colors again it was just a giant stash buster i originally was hoping i could do the white every other color and then the actual colorful colors you know obviously every other of that it did not work out that way it used more yarn than i expected um i almost have no left i have no oh i do have a little bit of the white left over but i didn't have enough to do actually let me grab the white this is what i have left of the white and that's it i have nothing left of any of the other colors i used everything so let me tell you about the yarn. This is New Wave Yarn by Wool and the Gang. I use Wool and the Gang all the time. I love their eco-friendly initiatives. This is half cotton, half recycled water bottles from the ocean. I think three water bottles are in every bowl of yarn, so I think that's really cool. It took five balls of yarn to make this project. Each color you see, that is everything except for this little bit of white that is left. Um, I really like this yarn, I'm a big fan of it. I'm a big fan of the concept of the yarn, and I used this yarn to make my sister a hat as well, um, a beanie. And the beanie turned out to be lighter weight, of course, because it is half cotton um, than a wool or acrylic beanie that I've made previously for her and for, for customers. Would I, I would use this to make another beanie if someone wanted a lightweight beanie like she did, and she's also vegan, so this was perfect for her lifestyle. I would also recommend that for a hat. For a garment, I just feel it's a little heavy, to be honest with you. So I'm warm right now. Um, I will wear it for sure because I like it and I like it and I will wear it in the fall or winter um, here in Florida. And then, you know, spring or fall if I were in Illinois. Again, I'm a big fan of that eco-friendliness aspect, so I'm not hating on the yarn at all. I just think it'd be better in a different project than a garment. Um, here, let me get up and show you so you see the full length. It is the same on the front and the back. I really like the chart, the color work. 
I will definitely be making this again in DK weight yarn. We have several different ideas. I kind of want to make a fun summery one, like really vibrant, like maybe do like kind of like this, whereas it's mainly white, but then there's really vibrant, like neon pink, orange, and yellow and blue or something. Or other people did um, variegated yarn. So they just used two yarns. So they did one solid and one variegated. But the variegated looks so cool because, you know, it started off light or whatever color and then it went to dark. Or even just, again, two skeins, but one simple solid and the other a speckle. I think that would be really pretty. So I definitely, definitely want to make this. I think it's still a free pattern on Morgan's blog, the way she did the um, clues. So you can find it in clue format or I know it's on her Ravelry as well as a pattern. So again, I'm a big fan. I definitely, definitely will be making this again. And there obviously won't be so many modifications and I will follow my correct size. Right. This is the Panglossian sweater by More Thunder. And I am a big fan. I'm very proud of it. This was my first color work, full color work garment. I made Fair Isle hats, but this is my first full color work garment. And I am a big fan. I will wear it because I made it. Um, if I were to do it again or recommend it to someone else though, I would say just follow the pattern, get the DK weight yarn. There's so many affordable yarns out there. There's a huge conversation in the knitting community about that right now, affordable yarns. And, you know, affordable yarns, eco-friendly yarns are what I strive for. And I love supporting other small businesses anytime I can. But I do understand that sometimes you just need affordable yarn to make you happy and you know, to work with your passion. And that's totally okay too. So try to be inclusive to everyone. And thank you so much, guys. If you want to check out my handmade accessories, it's ebknits.org. If you want to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, or here on YouTube, I am at ebknits. And my name is Emily. Have a great day.